Little Fibs by Tom Percival Finn was buzzing with excitement. He was spending a few days at Grandma's house with his sister, Simone. Finn loved staying there. Grandma always bought them treats. She took them to eat fish and chips on the beach. And she let Finn stay up a whole half hour later than usual. It was brilliant. Grandma's house was filled with all sorts of wonderful, beautiful, but very fragile things. Finn was usually extremely careful in Grandma's house, but Today he was a bit overexcited. He bounced his ball higher and higher and higher until... Crash! Finn stared at the broken clock in horror. He tried his best to fix it. But it didn't really work. Then Grandma walked in. She looked at the mess. She looked at Finn. His tummy twisted. His mind raced. And that was when it happened. Finn told a fib. Simone broke the clock, he said. I was trying to fix it. It wasn't a big fib. It could easily have happened. But as soon as he said it... Pop! A strange little blob appeared. Grandma didn't notice the blob. But she did ask how Simone had reached the clock. Finn panicked and told another fib. Immediately, a second blob appeared. Pop! Grandma didn't notice this one either, but she did look very sad about her clock. It made Finn feel funny inside. The next day, Mum and Dad phoned. After they'd spoken with Grandma, they asked Finn about the clock. Somehow, another fib slipped out. Pop! And a third blob appeared. Now that he'd started fibbing, it felt impossible to stop. All weekend long, the fibs about the clock piled up around him. Pop, 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 pop. Finn couldn't snuggle on the sofa because the fibs all got in the way. He didn't want to play with Simone because the fibs made him sad. And he couldn't eat any fish and chips because the fibs made his tummy feel strange. Finn felt awful. If only he'd never told that first fib. But he had and it was too late to change that now. Or was it? There was one thing he could do. He could tell the truth. Finn's face grew hot. Hmm, what if Grandma got cross? But he knew what he had to do. It was me, said Finn suddenly, the words tripping over themselves. I broke the clock. I'm really sorry I blamed Simone. Finn heard a soft, quiet whoosh and one by one the whole crowd of fibs vanished. Finn felt so much lighter. 
Oh, don't worry, Finn, said Grandma. We all make mistakes sometimes. Well done for telling the truth. After that, everything was back to normal. In fact, it was better than normal. It was the best holiday ever. From that day on, Finn decided he would always try to tell the truth. And if, by mistake, a fib ever did pop out, as they do sometimes, then he owned up right away. Okay, so actually, my dad isn't Batman. Thanks for watching Love to Read with Miss Ellis. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Take care. Bye for now.